Hey guys, Brad M73 here, and welcome to a preview look at all of the new vehicles in the uh, new Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition, also the uh, also known as the official expansion, or, or actually it's the official expansion, which also is known as the Gold Edition. I don't know. There seems to be a lot of confusion. Gold Edition is actually the full game with all of these additional expansions and the new uh, Sosnovka map. Uh, integrated into one package. The the official expansion is just these vehicles and the map. Uh, it's kind of like a DLC add-on for existing uh, Farming Simulator 15 users. So if you've got, well, there is one caveat. It's only available to PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, I believe. Yes, that's right. Um, if you have an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3, you only get the vehicles. You won't get the cool map. But this episode is not about the map. It's only about the new vehicles. I just wanted to kind of show you guys what all um, you can get with the Gold Edition. Now, if you were part of the pre-order, if you also did the direct buy from Giants, um, you will also get this cool little uh, combine which I'm actually going to be using in my series, but it's the Rostelmash uh, Neva. It's a small combine. I think the head width is only like six meters, and we can actually look in the um, uh, the DL or the mod since it is a mod. It actually installs as a, as a mod. I wish it wouldn't, but it does. Uh, so it's a four meter head, and um, you know it's. Not, it's pretty expensive for the size of combine it is. It only holds 3,000 uh, liters of grain, uh, and it's a fairly weak combine. But you know, for starting out, especially if you're a hard, um, you know, if you if you like hard mode, you know, that's all good and whatnot. So anyway, yep, that's uh, you get this for free if you've already pre-ordered. Um, you should have it. I believe it's available on all the consoles. Not 100% sure about 360 and PlayStation 4, but I know on Xbox One, uh, PlayStation 4, and obviously the PC version, this one uh, should be available. Um, if we go and look at the tractors, uh, we've got kind of our old Zetor crystal, or crystal, however it's uh, pronounced, the... Uh, 12045 model number, um, and I've got a tra the new trailer attached to that, but I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, we also have the Zetor Major 80, the Proxima Power 120 uh, FL. Not sure what the FL means, but um, it's on there. And then finally, we have the, uh, the Zetor Forterra 150 HD which is uh, the, the largest tractor that we get as far as the new uh, DLC goes. Now, if we look at uh, the tractors and we actually look at the new Z-Tours, uh, we see that the, uh, the older style tractors got a maintenance cost of 450 per day. It's 121 horsepower. Um, and then we can immediately see how like the newer tractors have a much lower uh, maintenance cost. Uh, the little major 80 is only 75 horsepower. We've got the uh, the Proxima 120 is approximately 120 horsepower coming in just below that at 117. And then the 150, again, very close to 150 horsepower, but it's just below that at 147 horsepower. Um, and if you compare that to the, the crystal here, the um, you'd almost want to sell this and buy one of the Proxima uh, 120s because the power uh, similar. It's slightly less on the 120, but uh, the maintenance cost is way, way less. Um, so there we have all the tractors. We can jump in them really quick. Uh, just take a quick look around at the interiors. We've got all the buttons and switches. Uh, looks nice and modern. Uh, the interior is very well done. Um, even at 1440p with all the textures and everything completely maxed out on my PC. Um, it still actually looks, you know, fairly passable. Now, I'm not going to be spending most of my time in the cabins. Um, I usually spend most of my time playing from an external view. But, you know, I think it's 
definitely along the lines of a very well done uh, tractor. I like the detail on the switches. Um, the, the texturing is very clear. And especially if you look over at the uh, shifting, you know, the forward, I can actually read F1, N, and 2 on the, the far left of the three uh, shifting levers there. Uh, I can read all the numbers at 1440p. It, this, is, this video is going to get downgraded to 1080p, but um, I think it's really important to be able to read all the labels on the inside. And I can actually read well i can't actually read it but the yellow label there on the on the lower right corner of the uh the front window i can actually read that it says automatic power shift on the little white label below that um so the the detail of the cabins is really impressive we got a little toolbox there um our radio up there air conditioning up there um if we take a look in here again plenty of detail inside the cabin looks like our radio is over there this time uh, some fans beacon lights headlights wipers um, I guess we don't get air conditioning in this one so we're gonna have to you know sweat it out and then uh, finally we'll go back and look at the uh, Zetor crystal um, a little bit less detail on this cabin uh, the, the dials actually look really nice and clear though, but you know, there's just not much in there. I don't know what that square is on the back. Maybe that's our uh, little box of chew or something like that. And no, no frills on this guy. There's no air conditioning, no radios, no nothing. Um, now also we get the, uh, farm tech. Let me bring up my list here. Um, we actually get a new trailer. With this DLC, yeah, it's the FarmTech TDK 1600. Whoops, wrong, uh, wrong button there. And uh, here it is. Uh, it holds. Well, I already purchased one, but now we've got another one. It holds uh, uh, 15,000 liters of uh, grain, and you know here we we can pretty much carry almost all the fruit types. Um, I don't see potatoes or sugar no that's sugar beets and i think that's potatoes but uh so yeah it's pretty much you can haul everything uh in this guy um next up and i know you guys are going to want to see the uh, tatra semi but i'm going to make you wait um uh, we've got a lot of new farm equipment from uh convert Kvernland. i hope i'm saying that right i'm probably butchering it but we've got this uh, cultivator here, which, you know, if we really look closely at the detail, I really like the detail on this guy. Um, this one's a little bit dirty. I think when you, you know, I just started the game quickly and came right in. I was actually going to put a sprayer out here to spray it all off before I started the episode. But then I was just like, nah, you guys want to see it a little bit dirtied up. Um, I really actually like the detail on these guys. I love the coloring. Um, this kind of like turquoise bluish green color um, just... Uh, to me, as an American, if I had to say, like, there's a stereotypical color for, you know, Eastern Europe at Russia, I, that's a, just a color that's used a lot. Uh, I think it's a cool color. I really do. Um, in a way, it's nostalgic uh, to me in some respects, which I won't really go into, but um, it is nonetheless. So we've got this. I think it's, I believe it's a three uh, meter. Uh, we can actually go look at cultivators, and I'm pretty sure it's a three, yeah, it's a three meter width cultivator. We also have this uh, Kvernland uh, plow, but I believe it's only a 1.9 meter uh, plow. It's a very narrow, yeah, it's 1.9 meters. Why you would actually use this? I don't know. I have absolutely no plan. I mean, unless you're really trying to do some. Um, field enlargement or you know expanding your field boundaries and you really needed like a small uh plow to you know get some fine detail work in the uh the cultivate or the expansion process then maybe you would use something like this me not really uh we also have two cedars uh we have i believe let's go and look we have a three meter and a 3.8 meter neither one um 
neither one is a cultivating seeder, so you would have to cultivate before using these. Um, and then this one, one is actually for the grains, and then the other one is for corn and um, sugar beets. So uh, there these guys are. That one's dirty. This one is not. Very nice. There's the uh, other farm tech trailer we accidentally bought. Um, so yeah. And then we also finally have the uh, Center Flow Vernland Exacta EL. This is a, I believe it's a 12 meter width uh, uh, fertilizer spreader. So if we look at that, uh, yeah, 12 meter width, and it's pretty inexpensive. It's only 4,500 euros. So um, if you're looking for something to kind of get you started, but you don't want to spend a lot more money on the um, the Amazon spreader, which is, you know, 26 meters um, at three times the cost, um, then this one is much more better suited to get you started. Um, let's go over and we're going to take a look at the, uh, the Tatra here. This is actually the Tatra Phoenix uh, 6x6 agro truck. Um, very, very cool. Uh, the default color is, again, this kind of tur tur you know, turquoise bluish green color. Um, lo you know, good detail. And again, you know, I've got everything maxed out here so you can really see uh, the detail work. And, um, you know, even, even up here, you know, with the transfer case, um, I, I really think it looks very, very nice. Uh, if we jump in this bad boy, sounds nice. I don't really know what the top speed of it is. I haven't actually, uh, got it up there. Maybe we can take it out for a spin. Uh, at the end of the video, uh, if we look around the interior, uh, it's while it's not quite you know Euro Truck Sim worthy, I think it's got a really nice interior, and um, and it looks really you know really good. Got some little what does that say? Select monitor. So apparently, there's a little monitor on there. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have our, uh, let's see, what is this next guy? This is the Rostel Mosh Wello. The RSM 1403. Uh, this is a forage uh, harvester. And if we get inside, we can see we've got, you know, pretty standard controls. Everything looks, you know, as it should for a foraging combine. Uh, we have a slightly wider field of view, as you can kind of tell as I pan around. We kind of have more of a fisheye effect. Um, it, but then we've got a few heads, and I would like to point something out. Well, first of all, we have our standard foraging head. The two sides fold down. Um, we'll get into the widths here in a minute. We've got our, um, an, you know, another foraging head. This would be for picking up, I believe, grass and straw. And, uh, and I think this one is actually for cutting grass, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a grass header 500D. Um, yeah, the, uh, this one here is the 600R, and we've got the 4UP uh, 370 right here. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think this one, you know, if you want to cut grass, you just put that on. It'll gra it'll chaff it automatically. But if you've already cut it and it's in a, a row, I think this will actually pick it up and throw it through the chaffer, or maybe it's for hay. I've never really used these types uh, of of headers that much in the past, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to uh, to give that a try. But one thing I I wanted to point out, uh, especially about the uh, the grass header over here is that the header is actually offset. If you look at it, you can probably already see it. But when I pick it up, it's definitely offset to the right. Um, I think that's kind of cool. So, you know, if you're mowing, you know, you're going to be a little bit closer to the left side uh, to, to get better mowing accuracy and so on and so forth. 
Okay, and finally we have the uh, the last two. Uh, Rostelmash, <laughs> I almost forgot the name, and it's right there in front of me. We've got the Rostelmash uh, combines. Now, uh, you know, regardless of the game difficulty mode, you start out with the acro, the ac acros. I'm going to say acros and not across. Uh, you start out with the uh, acros 595 plus, um, and you also start out with the this header. Which uh, well, let's look at the these two. Yeah, here's the 959 plus. It's a you know almost 190 euro combine, holds 9,000, and it's 325 horsepower. Um, we also have the Torum 760, which holds 12,000, so a little bit more capacity there. It's 490 uh, horsepower as well, and it's but it's a lot more expensive. It's 342,000. Uh, and then if we look at the, the headers, we actually have three different headers. We've got the 7 meter, the 9 meter, uh, and we also have a corn header as well. So we've got the prices right here, 36000 43000 and 32000 for the corn header. Um, switching to the inside view pretty much looks exactly like the... Uh, uh, the forage combine. We've got a little jump seat there. Not even. I'm not sure. I'd have to go back and look at the uh, the uh, foraging combine to see if it's got a jump seat. We've got another jump seat here, and again, interior is almost identical. And ah, what the heck? We'll just run over here. We'll see if this one has a jump seat, which it does. <laughs> the the interiors on all three look uh, pretty much identical. So. Um, that's pretty much all the equipment um, that you're going to get with the gold edition. Um, now, if you again, if you have the Xbox 360 or the PlayStation 3, you're actually not going to get the uh, the map, but you will get all of these vehicles. I'm not sure sure about the Rostelmash uh, Neva, uh, the one that you get for the pre-order. I would assume it's available, but not a, not entirely sure. Here, I just wanted to take a quick look at the uh, semi truck here, the ah, the Tatra Phoenix. So it's got a uh, top speed of about 65 kilometers. So it's a bit slower than the Man, but um, still pretty cool. You know, if you want to switch up your your fleet of trucks, this is definitely not going to disappoint. Um, and I'm I'll definitely be using it uh, during my season. So guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, this gives you all the information you need. Uh, on uh, the, the new Gold Edition vehicles. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit the like button. helps me out tremendously. And also, uh, please feel free to subscribe for this and many more videos on Farming Simulator 15 uh, in general and uh, also on Gold Edition. Ah! We're, <laughs> we're crashing! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I am Bradham73. Again, this has been the uh, Vehicle Preview for Farming Simulator uh, 15 Gold Edition. See you next time. Bye for now.